anything greater than an Australian fish and chip shop? I think not. Yes, for fish and chips, but also those delicious, big, juicy hamburgers with pineapple and beetroot and potato scallops. Now, I'm from New South Wales, so that's what we call them, potato scallops. For everyone else, they're called potato cakes. And I'm gonna show you how to make them from scratch. Now, you're going to need some large, all-purpose potatoes like these ones. These Christmas are great. The skin's super thin, so I'm actually going to leave the skin on them. And we just wanna make them into medium size ovals. So I'm cutting them so they're about one centimetre thick, even just slightly smaller, so not too thick thin and not too thick. You just want it to be about one centimetre, even just a tiny bit less. This is super important because we want the batter to become golden and crispy, but you also want this potato to cook. We're not going to be pre-blanching them whatsoever, so they need to cook entirely in the hot oil. So I'm going to slice a few of these. So just take your time doing this. I wouldn't use a mandolin, you just nice sharp knife to slice them. It's looking good. Now I've got some paper towel and we're just going to pat them dry for now. Just line them in a single layer. We just want to take away as much moisture as possible. So while they're sitting there just drying out, let's get on to the all important batter. In a bowl, some plain flour. So about 300 grams of plain flour. To that, I'll add a little bit of baking powder. This helps with the crispiness. A good pinch of salt, really good pinch of salt. Give that a bit of a stir. And this is where you can become quite creative with the flavours. You can keep it super simple and just add a bit of garlic powder or nothing at all. I'm adding garlic powder and a smidgen of smoked paprika, totally optional. I'm not going to add too much because I don't want it to burn in the oil. So it's just a little bit so we get those little speckles. Make a well in the centre. And now we can start adding some soda water. It's the bubbles in this chilled soda water that also is going to help with our crispy batter. I'm not overworking it, so I'm just slowly adding it and bringing in the sides so we don't get too many lumps. It's okay if there's some lumps, just not too many. Now I'm using some soda water here, but this actually works really well with beer too. Let's have a look at the consistency. Yep, see that? That's what we're after, just perfect. Okay, I like to start a bit of a production line when I'm doing this. Flour, so that's just plain flour in one bowl. Then we go onto the batter and then into the oil. Now I've been preheating my oil. I like to use safflower oil. You can use any neutral oil, anything that goes up to a high smoke point. So I need this oil to be at 180 degrees and that's the perfect temperature to cook the potato and also get that gorgeous golden crisp batter on the outside. A uh, quick way to check if you don't have a thermometer, just grab a wooden spoon place that in and if you can see those rapid little bubbles around the spoon, that's a good indication that that oil is perfect. Okay, now always with oil, be super careful. You can see that I've got my handle away from me just so there's lots of safety in the kitchen with hot oil. We'll take one of our pieces of potato into our flour. That's just the first coating. Okay, just make sure everything's coated in it. Shake the excess off. And then with the other hand, we're going to dip that in our lovely batter, shake the excess off, and then into the oil. Now, when you're going to the oil, be careful, get up close so there's no splashes, and then just carefully lower it in. Look at that, already the batter is bubbling and blistering away. That's what we're after. All right, I want them to be a deep golden color. I'm gonna make a few more of these, and then we can have a taste. Have a look at these potato scallops. Don't they look fantastic? A deep golden colour. When they come out of the oil, that's when you want to hit them with some salt. So I'm just using some lovely Murray River salt. So now let's place them onto a plate. Pile them up. Ooh, listen to that. Crispy. And you can serve this with some sour cream and some sweet chilli sauce, a bit like wedges if you like, or just a classic aioli mayonnaise tomato sauce, or if you want to be a bit fancy, I've got some chipotle mayonnaise. It's got a really nice smoky flavour to it. It's a bit spicy, so you've got the chilli through that too. 
and that is a great dipping sauce. So the chipotle and adobo mixed in with the mayonnaise, perfect with my potato scallops. Let's open one of these up. Oh, yes. See that? Piping hot, perfectly cooked potato. Little dip in the mayo. Potatoes dipped in batter, fried, genius. Whoever thought of that, hats off to you. Whether you're from New South Wales, potato scallops, or anywhere else, potato cakes, these are delicious and you need to make them at home. <laughs>